actually the French drink a lot of rosé, kind of cool and refreshing. And so we understood that there's better quality rosés. And thank you for presenting one tonight. You want to yes, tell us a little nice. bit about well, it? Well, thank you. This is a um, rosé of Pinot Noir. And it's uh, the technique that we use is we'll bring in the Pinot Noir, we'll do the uh, pressing, and from that point then there is a, a vat of uh, must prior to fermentation, six in, maybe four hours into it, will bleed off the saunier, bleed off the juice, which is about this color, hasn't had much skin contact. And we'll put that juice into a steel tank and then we inoculate it with some yeast and we let Mother Nature take over and from there we end up with a beautiful rosé. That's what we call bonus wine in the industry because what we now have created is an extra wine, but we have concentrated the Pinot Noir grape, the fruit for the wine that we're producing. So you get the best of both worlds that way. Uh, Pinot Noir, uh, rosés now have become so popular in the last five or six years that not only is it rosés of uh, Pinot Noir, but they've got Syrah, they've done a Barbera, they've done a Zinfandel, not White Zin, and they've, they've done some other varietals. I'm actually doing one this year, uh, a rosé of Cab Franc. And Cab Franc is one of my favorite varietals of Cabernet, and uh, I, it's, so far it's exquisite. It's coming out well, but it's still a baby. We won't see that for another year. No barrel tasting on that tonight? Not tonight. It's in steel and it wouldn't be a very <laughs> no, no, no. That's Ro the host. Rosé is very popular in France. When you go to get a meal, the first thing you sit down, they bring you a little glass of uh, rosé. Uh, so, uh, Paul said that would be a appropriate entree for this evening's activities. And let's have a little bit of, uh, I got a little food here, so we can mo mosey this way. Something to start the palate going. Because it will be an evening of uh, wine drinking. Yes. <laughs> and, and we want something in our little tummies, so please all help yourself. the evening by sharing with you the importance of the judgment in Paris in 1976 and I'd like to describe that I'd like to describe that from the context of uh, how important that was to the California wine so let's take it from Mr. Robert Mondavi the Paris tasting was an enormous event in the history of California winemaking it put us squarely on the world map of great wine producing regions. I saw impact everywhere I went. Suddenly, people had new respect for what we were doing. They saw we could make wines as good as the best of the French. So, messieurs, I must introduce to you, in French, the information for tonight's event. Bonsoir, messieurs, ce soir, nous allons recréer les éléments du Jugement de Paris 1976, où les 20 Californiens ont pris le devant de la scène. Chacun d'entre vous aura la possibilité d'imiter les juges français qui ont trouvé deux victoires en Californie et a reçu les honneurs surprenants en haut dans un test de goût aveugle. Le film Bouteille Choc a été une dramatisation de certains des éléments qui sont allés dans le jugement afin que nous allons utiliser une partie de ce contenu pour ajouter un impact visuel à notre soirée. C'est pourquoi nous avons nommé cet événement Butler Shock 2, où nous sommes également très heureux que nous ayons deux histoires vraies qui se rapportent directement au vignoble de la Californie. Leurs impliqués dans le jugement et à la fois M. Rogerville et M. Naismith partageront des moments intéressants et là des expériences personnelles. S'il vous plaît, participez pleinement à cet événement. Votre participation va ajouter à l'intérêt. L'excitation et la valeur de la partie du soir sont capturées pour votre plaisir ultérieur. So if any gentleman would like to translate, <laughs> please, <laughs> please feel free. I heard California and I heard a couple of names. <laughs> well, then let I'm me shocked. translate if I may. <laughs> we won. <laughs> Viva la America. <laughs> Viva la America. So, of course, bonsoir, messieurs. Good evening, gentlemen. Tonight we'll recreate the events of the Judgment of Paris in 1976, where California wines took center stage. Each of you will have the opportunity to emulate the French judge 
that found two California wines received the surprising top honors in a blind taste test. The movie Bottle Shock was a, dra it was a stretch and a dra dramatization um, of some of the elements that went into the judgment. So uh, we will use some of that content as a visual impact for the evening, if I can get Windows 10 working properly, and hence the name for our event, Bottle Shock 2.0. That, of course, gives it the Silicon Valley flavor. There's 1.0, 2.0, now we're 2.0 for bottle shock. <laughs> uh, we are also very excited that we have two true, true stories that relate directly to the California vineyards and their involvement in the judgment. And both Mr. Rogerville and Mr. Naismith will share interesting moments in their personal experiences. Please engage fully in the evening your participation will add to the interest, excitement, and value of evening parts of which we are being captured for your later enjoyment.